We can start with questions. JJ, camera showed you kind of talking to Joey there in the late stages of the game. Could you talk about that conversation and what it's like seeing a guy you've gotten to know struggle so publicly? Yeah, uh, what we talked about we'll keep between ourselves, but uh, he's a good friend. And he's a really good kicker, and the last couple of weeks have been not what we all had hoped. And, uh, we were just chatting as friends and as teammates. Good talk. What do you think of the new kicker? It's tall. <laughs> um, we just met today, so I haven't really had a chance to get to talk with him uh, much other than the particulars of, of, of football. So um, he was obviously in New York with Graham, and so I, I called Graham and he had nothing but good things to say. So that was a, it's always a good way to start a relationship with everyone. You kind of you're a good guy. Did you get much of a chance to kind of do pregame and sort of see you know, swing or just sort of see what kind of what he brings to the beat? Yeah, you're trying to get some timing going. I think uh, that's you know that takes weeks and months and years to really know each other in and out. So you're trying to rush some of that and do it all in a pregame. And, uh, most of those conversations are going to be between the kicker and the holder. Uh, I'm trying to do my piece and get kind of on their timing. So we try to do as much of that as we could in pregame. We've done, we've done it before in the preseason. It's not an unusual thing. So nothing new there. Graham never looked that big in number nine. Um, what, have you ever been around a bigger kicker? Um, probably not a guy as, as thick as him. Uh, Harrison was 6'5". So there's, we've had tall kickers. We've had big kickers. Everyone's all, every kicker that's been through here in probably 15 years has had a bunch of muscle, so. <laughs> when you see someone like Joey, who you've spent this much time around and kind of see him since he came in to take Graham's spot, you know, when Graham was injured and all of that, and see him going through this, I mean, how do you kind of view that as a veteran on this team and helping a young guy like that? Well, he's a great kicker. And, um, I try to offer words of encouragement, perspective. Um, our coaches do the same thing. like. Obviously, Chase played. He's been in a lot of these wars. Um, having Mike Cyphers around the last uh, last four or five weeks helps. You know, the, the kickers in particular. Um, Ed is is there to give encouragement and see, kind of explain what he sees. So, some player perspective, certainly tons of coaching perspective. As far as a player goes, you just you, you're trying to make sure you're doing your part um, and just try to give perspective. I mean, there's no advice a long staffer can give to a kicker. Um, but do, do my job to the best of my ability and um, really work on timing and rhythm and all those things. So did you take every snap? Uh, no, I took, uh, I think I took all but one field goal. And then, and then Thomas did all the punts today. What's been the relationship with you and Fletch and how's that kind of developed over time? It's been really good. You know, Thomas is a really good young man, a really good long snapper. He has tons of stories from Alabama, so we've, we've loved to pick his brain. And he's, uh, because of his family, spent the last uh, little bit of time in Phoenix, where I'm from. So we've had plenty of uh, icebreaker questions, and that's led to a really good relationship. We've certainly enjoyed uh, competing against each other here for the last, whatever, it's been three or four months. So it's been great getting to know him. It's, it's been nice having another guy in the building that knows what you're doing, you know, what you're going through. J.J. Matt said the other day, he said, that you came in focused this year. Did drafting a long snapper kind of get your attention? Oh, um, and someone asked me this a couple days ago. I mean, I think I was probably a little numb the first couple of days. Um, but my off-season preparation started in February. So uh, not that drafting Thomas did not change anything about the way I prepared for the season or, or, or uh, any other season for that matter. What's that? What made you know? uh, some having a, a player drafted at your position, there's only one of us. So we understand that there's a lot of ramifications that, that come with it. So that it was just shocking. Um, but I understand it's the business. And so after a day or two, we got back to work. And, and it's been normal since then. It's interesting when the camp started 
many people are also wondering, are you going to be here at the end of this camp? Because they have drafting a, a long snapper. Um, and now here at the end, you're consoling a guy that everybody thought would make the team enjoy, and he may not make it. What What is that whole dynamic like? Um, I think we're all on day-to-day -day contracts. And so, you know, each day, uh, each day we have to all come out and compete for our job. And, and so, I don't know if I've really given that much thought, to be quite honest. Um, I don't know if I have a better answer for you. Do you think with your performance this summer, you deserve to be the one It's not my decision to make. I, I feel really proud of the way I've performed. I feel really good about what I, uh, I'm, I'm doing. I feel really good in general. Um, and so that's not really my decision to make. Hopefully it'll go my way, but I'm excited for the season. JJ, special teams made a big play today to set the tone before the first touchdown. How do you keep the guys motivated in that unit so you can make a big impact every time you guys are on the field? So, you know, special teams is so random at times, especially you know a muffed punt, uh, a bad bounce of the ball. Uh, you have to play every play like it's coming to you, and, and we only get so many. I think we had, I'm trying to think off the top of my head, six punts, maybe a couple kick returns. That's eight plays, nine plays in the game. And, and obviously kicks, you know, those kind of go without saying, but you just never know which ball is going to bounce to you. And um, you know, I think back to we've had a couple punts over the last few years that we've scored touchdowns, and those are game-changing plays. Um, anytime you can get 50 yards of field position and get the ball, I mean, the, the crowd would go nuts for a 50-yard pass to get a muff punt and, and be down there, and the guys were they're hustling, they're, they're flying around, and then obviously you saw the excitement of the guys. And, trying to score it's a muff punt so they can't score but they still want to score right and um, you know just playing every play like the ball could be coming to them uh, we talked about having the hat on your head and, and that means time to make the play and so it was cool to see that we've had a couple of those this preseason that's been fun it, it keeps the energy high and we'll do one more JJ what's the next few days going to be like for you waiting up for Tuesday same as Every other day, I mean, I think we'll come back in tomorrow. We'll watch the film. Uh, we'll, you know, we'll treat it like the day after a game, and then we'll start preparing for the Jets. And so I'll show up and do the same thing we do uh, every single day. All right, thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank, thank you. Good to see you all in person. Yeah.